Hi, my name is John Cold. I'm in Fundamentals of Physics for the November 2010 section. And today I'm going to be doing an experiment, not really an experiment, more demonstration of the properties of inertia and how the more mass an object has, <clears throat> the more force you need to put into it to move it. So enjoy the show. And we're back. And so the first thing I'm going to show is I've got a two liter of mug root beer and I've got a full of root beer well almost full I've got it empty and we're gonna see which one it takes more force to move and we're gonna show that by seeing there's a rubber band I've got around it tied to a string that I'll be pulling from and we'll see how far the rubber band comes off the bottle and that'll demonstrate how much force you need to actually move the bottle and first up is the empty bottle. So as you can see, I tried to measure how much the rubber band was extended from the end of the bottle, but there was no movement really there at all, and I couldn't get a real measurement. And that's indicative of how little mass this bottle actually has. It's just a thin piece of plastic, and all that's inside is air. It's not even particularly heavy air, so it takes really no force or work to move at all. And so now what I'll show you is me moving a bottle that's almost full of root beer, and you'll be able to see the rubber band extended off the end of the bottle and how much more force is required to move something with more mass. So this time I was able to get a measurement from the edge of the rubber band to the edge of the bottle. And what you can see there, because it's too far away, is that it was about 5 centimeters from the point of the rubber band to the edge of the bottle. And as you can tell, that's obviously a lot more than the null value that I was able to get with the empty bottle. And this is a good demonstration of inertia and how an object at rest tends to stay at rest unless an outside force acts upon it and that the more mass an object has the more force you need to move that object and you need the, just that much more work that much more force to move something with more mass than an, another object that has less mass so i hope you enjoyed the demonstration and i want to thank you for watching